Welcome to our guide, starting a non-profit for refugee resettlement. Hey everyone, it's I, the, and I want to talk about something. About long-term support and empowerment. That's where starting a non-profit can make a real, lasting difference. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Starting a non-profit. That sounds daunting. And yeah, it's a big undertaking, there's no denying that. But it's also incredibly rewarding. And trust me, it's more achievable than you might think. That's why we're here today. In this video, we'll break down the entire process into manageable steps, providing you with a clear roadmap to turn your passion for helping refugees into a tangible reality. Let's dive in. Start with the heart of your organization, your mission and vision. What drives your desire to help refugees? What specific changes do you hope to see? Think about the specific needs you want to address. Are you focusing on a particular geographic area? Will you be working with refugees from a specific country or background? Defining your target population helps you tailor your services effectively. Next, consider the core services you'll provide. Will you focus on housing, legal aid, language acquisition, job training, or a combination? Remember, it's okay to start small and expand your scope as you grow. Finally, articulate the long-term impact you envision. Do you dream of creating a more inclusive community, empowering refugees to become self-sufficient? Painting a clear picture of your goals will guide your organization's development and inspire others to join your cause. Okay, we've got our mission, but now it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty research and planning. This step is all about transforming your passion into a practical plan. Begin by understanding the specific challenges refugees face in your target area. What resources are already available? What gaps need to be filled? Talk to existing organizations, social workers, and most importantly, refugees themselves to gain valuable insights. Next, Define your organization's programs and services based on your research and mission. Will you provide housing assistance, language classes, job training? Be specific and realistic about what you can offer. Finally, assess the viability of your organization. Consider potential challenges, such as funding limitations or logistical hurdles. Evaluate the resources you'll need, from volunteers to office space. This critical self-assessment ensures you're starting on solid ground. Every successful nonprofit needs a dedicated team, a group of individuals as passionate about the mission as you are. This is your founding board of directors, and assembling the right people is crucial. When identifying potential board members, look for individuals with diverse skills and experiences. You'll want people with expertise in law, finance, nonprofit management, and of course, refugee resettlement. But skills alone aren't enough. Seek individuals who are genuinely committed to your organization's mission and vision. Look for people who are enthusiastic, driven, and eager to roll up their sleeves. Once you've assembled your dream team, assign specific roles and responsibilities. You'll need a president to lead the board, a treasurer to manage finances, a secretary to handle administrative tasks, and potentially other positions based on your organization's needs. All right, things are getting real, my friends. It's time to give your organization a legal identity. The first step is choosing a name that reflects your mission and is unique and memorable. Once you've found the perfect name, it's time to register. You'll need to register your nonprofit as a corporation in your state. This typically involves filing articles of incorporation, which outline your organization's purpose, structure, and key personnel. Don't worry, it sounds more complicated than it is. There are resources available to guide you through the process. Next, you'll apply for an Employer Identification Number, EIN, from the IRS. This acts as your organization's social security number, allowing you to open bank accounts, file taxes, and hire employees. 
Remember, the specific requirements and procedures for incorporation and EIN application vary by state, so it's essential to consult with legal and financial professionals to ensure you're following all the necessary steps. Think of your organization's bylaws as its operating manual, a document outlining its governance structure and decision-making processes. These bylaws are crucial for ensuring transparency, accountability, and smooth operations within your nonprofit. Start by defining your board's roles and responsibilities in detail. How often will the board meet? What are the voting procedures? How are conflicts of interest handled? Clear guidelines prevent misunderstandings and promote efficient decision-making. Next, establish policies for financial management. How will donations be received and used? Who has the authority to approve expenditures? Transparency in financial matters is paramount for maintaining public trust and donor confidence. Finally, outline procedures for amending the bylaws themselves. As your organization grows and evolves, you'll need a clear process for adapting the bylaws to meet changing needs and circumstances. Here's the good news. As a non-profit organization dedicated to a charitable cause, you're eligible for tax-exempt status. This means you won't have to pay federal income tax on your earnings, freeing up more resources to support your mission. To obtain this coveted status, you'll need to file an application with the IRS under Section 501c3 of the Tax Code. This application requires detailed information about your organization's mission, activities, finances, and governance. Be prepared. This application can be quite extensive, so don't hesitate to seek professional assistance. Once approved, your organization will officially be recognized as a tax-exempt charity making your fundraising efforts much more appealing to potential donors. In addition to federal tax exemptions, you may also need to apply for state-level exemptions depending on your location. Check with your state's tax agency for specific requirements. Chapter 7. Fundraising and Resource Development. Fueling the Mission. Let's be real, folks. Even the most passionate volunteers need resources to make a real impact. That's where fundraising comes in. Securing funding is essential for covering operational costs, program expenses, and ultimately fulfilling your mission. Start by developing a comprehensive fundraising strategy. Explore various avenues for generating revenue, including individual donations, grants from foundations, corporate sponsorships, and fundraising events. Next, identify and apply for grants that align with your organization's mission and programs. Grant writing can feel like its own language, so don't be afraid to seek guidance from experienced grant writers. Finally, cultivate relationships with potential donors. Build a donor management system to track contributions, send thank you notes, and keep donors informed about your organization's impact. Chapter 8. Develop programs and services. Putting plans into action. It's time to take all that planning, all that hard work, and turn it into tangible support for refugees. This is where you develop the programs and services that will directly benefit the people you aim to serve. For each program, create a detailed plan outlining its objectives, activities, target audience, and the resources required. For example, if you're offering language classes, specify the class size, frequency, curriculum, and the qualifications of your instructors. Collaboration is key. Establish partnerships with other organizations, businesses, and government agencies already working in the field. These partnerships can provide valuable resources, expertise, and support, amplifying your impact. Remember, flexibility is crucial. Be prepared to adapt your programs and services based on the evolving needs of the refugees you serve and the feedback you receive from your team and partners. You've built an incredible organization, but to truly make a difference, people need to know about it. That's where marketing and outreach come in. Start by developing a strong brand identity. Design a logo that visually represents your mission 
and create a website that provides information about your organization, its programs, and how people can get involved. Next, create compelling marketing materials, such as brochures, flyers, and social media content to raise awareness about your organization and its services. Share stories of hope and resilience to connect with your audience on an emotional level. Finally, reach out to local media outlets, community centers, and faith-based organizations to share your message and connect with potential volunteers, donors, and beneficiaries. And After months of planning, fundraising, and building partnerships, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for, launching your non-profit and officially opening your doors to the community. If your organization requires a physical location, secure a space that is accessible and welcoming to refugees. Ensure it's equipped to handle the needs of your programs, whether it's providing office space, classroom settings, or meeting rooms. Hire dedicated staff or recruit passionate volunteers to assist with daily operations. Provide thorough training to ensure everyone is equipped to fulfill their roles effectively and compassionately. Finally, implement a system for tracking your progress and measuring the impact of your programs. Collect data on the number of refugees served, the outcomes achieved, and the challenges encountered. This data will be invaluable for securing future funding and demonstrating your organization's effectiveness. Congratulations, your nonprofit is up and running, but the journey doesn't end there. Maintaining a successful organization requires ongoing compliance, diligent management, and a commitment to continuous improvement. Remember those tax-exempt status benefits we talked about? To keep them, you'll need to file annual reports with the IRS and your state, providing updates on your finances and activities. Transparency is key. Schedule regular board meetings to review your organization's progress, address challenges, make strategic decisions, and ensure everyone is on the same page. Finally, conduct periodic financial audits to maintain transparency and accountability. This demonstrates your commitment to responsible stewardship of donor funds and builds trust with your supporters. Starting a nonprofit for refugee resettlement is a journey, one filled with challenges and triumphs, hard work, and incredible rewards. It's about channeling your compassion into action, creating lasting change, and empowering individuals to rebuild their lives. By following these steps, you can create a strong foundation for your organization, one built on a solid mission, dedicated team, and commitment to making a real difference. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative guides. And most importantly, never underestimate the power of your actions to create a more just and compassionate world.